Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clubo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet for episode 11. So if you have returned back for the series, thank you so much for returning. And if you are new here, then welcome, and I do hope you enjoy your stay. There will be a link down below for a playlist, so you can keep, you can basically catch up with what's been going on, because there's been 10 episodes before this one. So go watch them, and then come back and carry on watching this. So uh, in the last episode, we went back into school, and completed the home economic classes and the history class and we of course met uh, Mr. Sagiwaro or Sagiwaro or how, however you want to say it but I call him Sagiwaro so that's his name now um, and yeah then we did a bit of exploring found a few more Pokemon, found a lot more items fought a couple of trainers and that was really about it so kind of started our treasure hunt off with actually finding treasure on the floor so I suppose that's a good start. But uh, yeah, we're going to pretty much carry that on throughout this episode. So I hope you are ready for the ride. And if you are, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we will get into this here. So straight away, I'm already failing. I'm trying to even just get up a little hill. Uh, you know, I almost thought I got up there at that point. But nope, apparently I can't even climb up something as small as that. Now, I did learn how to jump backwards. But it was a, bit, a little bit too late. Because, I, yeah, I... I don't even need it anymore, but it would definitely have come in handy at this point. I don't know how to do it. But, yeah, we're, uh, as I say, we're just going to keep exploring. We're in South Province Area 1 at the moment, just going back and exploring around. I do find this little uh, group of combis, and in there there is a female, which I do want to try and go for. However, I absolutely fail and end up beating it, so I don't catch this one. Which is a rather shame, but I do eventually catch one, catch one and uh, we get to evolve it into a Vespi Queen. Or Combi Queen, or whatever it's called. Something like that. So, of course, the uh, music is still ongoing, so there's still a. Uh, quizzes going on for at every single one of these episodes at the moment due to the uh, unfortunate quality of the audio that my recording just didn't give me anything of so yeah basically I recorded in mute I have no idea why um, but I have hours upon hours of footage with just no no sound so not great but instead we're listening to some very nice relaxing Pokemon music throughout the ages of the different Pokemon games so if you uh, have been playing along, there will be the answers to the quiz from last week down in the description below. So do have a look there and cross-match it if you have been playing along to see if you've got them all right. And if you have got them all right, leave a comment down below and tell me. So, yeah, we're as a continuous this exploration and what we find over here is uh, a fun little fellow with a coin on his back. And I'm thinking to myself, what on earth is this? Now, can I catch him? Can I... What kind of things do I need to do? And all you actually need to do is just interact with it. So that's what I do. And I get a Gimmigal coin. Now, Gimmigal coins are... Something we need to evolve a Gimmigal eventually, once uh, we actually catch one. So, that's in one form. You get one in a chest form. And to evolve the chest form, you need 999 of those Gimmigal coins. So it's going to take a very long time, considering that was my first coin. And yeah, even now I've still not got 999. So, as I say, it's going to take a while. But we will get there in the end. So, yeah, as I say, we are still exploring, still collecting items. Trying to find some new Pokemon that we haven't caught before. I then fall down a hill or a cliff and think, oh, I'm near some water. Let's uh, take a wander around, have a look, see what there is. If there's any other Pokemon I've not caught before, down near the beach, maybe some items that I might not have had. And straight away, there we go, we found ourselves a Pokemon we've not caught before. So this is a Wiglet. So we have Diglets that are ground types. This is Wiglet, so it's basically a water worm, I think is kind of what it's supposed to be. Or a sand worm or something. And then, uh, yeah, this was very strange. I had a Pokeball floating in the water and then at the same time a static po Pokeball. But it was the same Pokeball. So, not sure on that one. But, 
let's Wigglet add it now as well. And if, of course, we, if we evolve uh, Wigglet, we will get a Wig Trio, I think it's called. I actually fight a Wig Trio later down the line. But yeah, I haven't evolved my Wigglet just yet. I think he's probably still level 3 and sat in my box just gathering dust. Sorry, mate. Well, we'll, we'll get around to leveling up at some point, I'm sure. There's another Paralyzed Heal to add to our lovely collection. I don't know how many of those we've now got, but I'm sure there's uh, plenty more we're going to find anyway. And there's another Chester Berry. Yeah, I kind of then head back the way we came, so I kind of realised, of course, through recording some of these videos, that I missed some items. So I uh, took it by myself to kind of go around and try and find those items. Or, uh, yeah, do just some more exploring and find other areas that I've not been, built, been before, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. And there's another gimmick all right there, I managed to find another one, so that's now two coins. So some gimmick all give you more coin, more than one coin than others, so really is a random look at the draw. I think at one point I find three or four of them in like one area and I gain like 20, 30 coins, so it, it's very much random. But they are fun to uh, to look for, and yeah, if you find any anywhere and see things that I don't see, then do let me know down below in the comments, and I will get round to uh, finding those Pokemon again, or finding those items, or whatever it might be. If you see something, then let me know. But uh, yeah, I do hope you are enjoying the series, guys. Uh, you know, I'm recording this for you. You know, it's not really for me, it's for you guys and your benefit, so I do really hope you are enjoying it. It is a shame that you can't actually hear the sound in the game and get to experience all of that, but eventually we're going to get back to that and my audio or my quality and everything is a lot better in the later videos that I've been recording, so we shouldn't have a problem, but it is just going to be for a while to do bear with us there. But here's a Wingle, we're uh, going, for our, going for one of these. Which again, we're just trying to catch it, because if we attack it, we're just going to beat it, knock it out, and we don't want to do that. But as I have plenty of Pokeballs to use, yeah, we, we can we can keep trying. Now I do eventually catch this Pokemon, and uh, Wingle evolves into Pelipper if you uh, continue to level it up. I still haven't leveled up my Wingle either. So, there are a lot of Pokemon that we will catch that I have not even got back to, to even look at, or even consider levelling up. But we will do. And when we do, we will then evolve them and carry on collecting our Pokedex. Well, filling our Pokedex, should I say. So, as we fell down here, we thought, hey, why not? We'll go back into the cave that we came out of and get a Houndor while we're at it. You know, I've not caught a Houndor yet, so I may as well grab one while I'm here. And yeah, let's see if there's anything that I missed while I was doing the main storyline, because it seemed I couldn't really go very far without being near Coridon at the time. But we will head our way in soon enough, I'm sure. But looks like I'm having a bit of a difficulty with Houndor, so I thought, right, let's get Rolts out. Not sure exactly what I'm doing with Rolts, but if I have hypnosis by now, then the likelihood is I'm going to make this hound or fall asleep. So yeah, my Rolts knows Trace. Now, for a lot of people, probably Trace isn't something they uh, would particularly want. Oh, that was a good hit. But fortunately, didn't take him out in one hit, so then I'm now able to hopefully catch this Pokemon a little bit easier. So yeah, you can hit, use Hypnosis, which I have used a fair bit, which for some reason I didn't in this time. I thought, nope, just going to attack him. And Disarming Voice did just the right amount of damage for me, so perfect. There's another Pokemon on the list. You can tick that one off as well. moving my Rolts to the forefront, just in case that there's any other Pokemon I want to catch. So I can at least either damage them or make them fall asleep. 
Or of course there's a nice group of handles just sat there. So we send Rolts out to do a bit of a job. And then this Yangus or whatever it's called decided. Yeah, Young Goose, sorry, decided to attack. So I was not about that life. And I was like, nope, let's get rid of him as quickly as possible. So yes, I could have switched out to another Pokemon, but that would have wasted time. So it's just easier just to use Confusion a couple of times and drop that down. As we have done there. And so we carry on just sending out our rolls so one she can level up or what have you oh yeah she can level up because it is a female and then the sound door decided to attack of course and yeah i just use the same ability to silent voice because confusion literally has no effect against sound doors it's a nice and easy battle would be and then yeah for some reason I then respawned on here so that was a bit strange didn't mean I was out of the way of the Pokemon so I couldn't get hit by them which was kind of cool and also allowed me to have a look around and I found an item I missed the last time I was in here and it was a Pokeball so rather lovely now that I can actually swim I may have to even come back again and see if there's anything else like, probably not as it didn't look like there was much in the water there but as well be able to swim I may as well give it a go never know what we'll find so yeah we continue back into the cave have a little wander around see if there's anything in SSA that I missed which it turns out there is a whole path that I do miss but I think at the point of when playing the storyline you, you don't really get that opportunity to to have a real good look because the cutscene happens practically here so and then you end up back outside. So, we continue on a little bit. And yeah, we find uh, a nice Ultra Ball. Which Ultra Balls are absolutely fantastic Pokeballs to own. So, always good to try and get some if you can. And then we found this little ledge up here. So, I thought, eh, okay, let's let's have a little explore up the top. See if there's anything up here as well. The likelihood there will be an item or, or something for us. So was my decision and Rolts is just going out there just kicking butt as it she always does and then yeah we head up make another hound door we'll take that one out well Rolts decided to run straight by it but took it out in the end and then heads off and takes the other one out as well I think it's a really good ability that we were able to, to send our Pokemon out and do auto battles. I just I find that that concept, or at least that that uh, game mechanic, actually really good fun. So it's, it's a good way to well grind up your Pokemon's levels. Uh, granted, you don't get as much XP, but it is nice to to do that. Looks like Clabo decided to to bugger off for a couple of minutes, probably getting a drink or something. So we will just enjoy the Rolts running around our feet. And there we go, we carry on moving. But yeah, the auto battles, I think they're are really cool. They really do help get you out of tight spots sometimes. Providing your Pokemon is able to beat the other Pokemon as well. Because if you can't beat it, then they come straight back to you. Um, and yeah, need to be healed or, or whatever. So you've always got to make sure you've got the right type against them. Or you've just got to be way stronger and things should work out okay. But yeah, we, uh, as I say, we keep exploring through. So we then find uh, another entrance or another exit up at the top. And yeah, grab an item there to see a couple more Pokemon while we're at it. Another TM possibly up here as well. So Pollen Puff. Can't say I'd ever heard of Pollen Puff in any previous iter iterations of Pokemon, but I've never really played the originals and then Gold and Silver. And then I, I recently played the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes. So but there's another gimmick. So what's that now? Three coins we're on. So 
We've gone from zero to, to three in not a very long space of time, so that's very good. But they are absolutely everywhere, so, you know, you're going to be going around for ages looking. So there's what I thought was another one, but it turned out it wasn't. It was a, another Pokemon. But yeah, there is basically just this, exploring around and, yeah, running into more Scatterbugs. Because I just seem to run into Scatterbugs. They always want to get in my way, don't they? Especially in this first area. But, there we go, nice and easy battle, as normal. And so then I see uh, this item over there. I can try and find a way up with using the rocks and what have you. And there we are, I'm up. So I'm able to grab these items there. Got a super potion, which is absolutely lovely. The more super potions, the better. And a Pokeball, which is great. And then head to Pneumonia's house and I go around the back because I actually didn't even explore her house that much or around the house. So, of course, then found an item there. And then I found another two item, another item by the, behind the house, of course. And then I found that item, which I somehow ran straight past when we uh, were first hit. So, no idea how I managed that. And then I saw this item at the top, which I was trying to figure out how on earth would I get up there. Now again, if I had or knew about the, uh, the back jump, I'd probably be up there by now. But we didn't, so we ignored it for now. I presumed we would get an ability to be able to jump a bit higher or... To be able to climb, so I thought, eh, that'll be an item I can come back for, not a problem. So, I will have to remember to go back and actually get that item, now that I've got all these said abilities. So, yeah, and there's another great ball. I think we find a few more items as we're going around. Which, to be fair, every time I play this game, I just explore more and more, and I just find more and more items. And, yeah, can't ever go wrong with items. In fact, there's a really nice little area for uh, pretty much farming Stardust. So there's a, a desert in, in the map, on the map. And there's loads and loads and loads of like items just scattered around on the desert floor. I believe they also respawn, but I don't know that for sure. So don't, don't quote me on that. But if they do, yeah, it's a very good place to farm Stardust. As I'm pretty sure I picked up the best part of 20 or 30 pieces while I was in the in there. That might be exaggerating, I might have only been 10 or 11, but either way, it was a lot, and I didn't even pick up everything. I'm sure there was more items there that I hadn't picked up. So, yeah, really good spot for uh, for farming items if you need to do that. Now, I say I believe they, they reset because that Chesto Berry, I'm sure I picked it up the first time I came around, and I still forgot to go to underneath the bridge so there was a gimme goal there and of course i only noticed that when i started doing my audios for this and yeah i've still forgotten to go back so i really need to remember to go back and do that because then there'll be another gimme goal added to my collection as i think i'm just reached over 100 now so the fact that i've only reached 100 and i think i've done the best part of eight or nine hours on this game maybe more than that yeah that's that's it's it's gonna take a while Definitely going to take a while. But there we go, that was a nice easy battle against Nazarul. I mean, I don't think I really need to comment on that, because I've beaten them before, so it was just, just a filler kind of thing, so at least it keeps you entertained, I hope, at least, anyway. Uh, but... Yeah, so, uh, honestly, this game has just been, been so much fun. Uh, yes, it's been frustrating as hell. Uh, there's been a lot of performance issues. You will see as as you know the recordings go. There's lots of performance issues, especially around water. It seems to just lag like anything. Uh, there's one point where I'm waiting for a Pokeball to to confirm that I've caught a Pokemon, and it's going so slow. Uh, I don't know. It was unreal. But hey, hey we are uh, now facing this. Uh, Worker with his Gulpin. Now I don't even remember what Gulpin's weakness is, so I just go straight for a disarming voice in the hope that it will do something. No, and of course it's not very effective. So fairy types are not strong against Gulpins. 
We learned that very quickly right there. Not that I think it really mattered, because... Nice little confusion. We then found out psychic abilities were strong against Gulpin, so I should have just used confusion from the start. And then I would have probably hit him in one, beat him in one hit. But it's absolutely fine. We now learn quick attack with our Sprigatito, which practically stays on my Pokemon right through to its third evolution and beyond for a little bit longer as well. So I think it was only recently I changed that ability on my uh, ev evolved Sprigatito. Nice easy battle there with the, against a the Gulpin. I mean, to be fair, I am pretty over leveled for this area, I think, at this point. But I wanted to make sure I found everything. Or try and find as much as I can and collect as much as I can while I'm able to. Because ideally, I really should just go out one of the other gates. So in Mesa Gosa, there is an east gate and a west gate. And you go out one of those gates, you can then head towards gyms and things like that. I decided, nah, I'm just gonna keep exploring this area, try and find all the other items that I missed, or any Pokemon I missed, as different times of day can spawn different Pokemon. So it's actually a good thing to, to keep going back to areas, as you may find Pokemon you didn't see before, and uh, then get to catch them. So, don't think that's happening here right now. I think it's just more I'm exploring around, keep looking around, see if I can find any other items I may have missed from elsewhere. I then see this nice flashing thing over that side and think to myself, oh, how do I get over there? And try and jump and fail miserably. So, yeah, it just looked like a bit like a, I don't really know, sort of something. It was glowing, it was a purpley glowing thing. and. Yeah, I wanted to touch it. Why glowing things? Like, why we as human race want to touch things that are glowing? But I genuinely wanted to touch it. Wanted to see what it was. Find out what, why it's there. And in doing so, hit another scatterbug. As always. This area is just, yeah, littered with them. And for some reason, I seem to hit them all. Hey ho. Got the scatterbug in the end, so nicely done there. Rolts, my, my girl. I was about to call you a boy, no, you're definitely a girl. keep looking at these terra crystals and never touch them because why would we want to touch them when we can get a thousand lp so those league points we can get a thousand for every time we touch one and i didn't even realize this again until very later on so all this time i could have been collecting extra points that i could then use to buy items and i didn't even know and also terra raiding just in general is actually a really good way to catch new pokemon get new terraforms all of that jazz. So, so yeah. Now actually this might be the episode that we we find those five gimmickles. Might be, might be the next episode, but it's around this area that we're in at the moment that I found them. Now I think that this is where I found my female combi that I could then go and catch. So I was being very sneaky trying to find the right one. And then I think I see my target. So I throw out my Pokeball, and yep, there we go. So you can see the red. So it wasn't on the bottom of there, it was actually in the middle. I think I said it was at the bottom of the last episode, but no, it's in the middle. There's a little bit of a red. On the bottom, hexagon, hexagon pentagon, bit of pentagon. You get a six side or five side? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six side shape, so yeah, so it's. A hexagon. And yeah, so the bottom hexagon has like a little it's a little red bit. So this time I played it smart, made it fall asleep, and then I went to throw my Pokeballs at it. 
in the hope that I would be able to catch it. And I catch it first time. So, yeah, we may have lost the first one, but we got the second one. Now well, that's what mattered. So now we had our fe my female combi. So now I'm able to to go ahead and get that one evolved. And at some point we will do that, and you will see that as we evolve quite a few Pokemon throughout our time. We say continue our exploration as always. There's another nice little gimmick all in the corner there. So we've got another coin, so that's up to four coins now. So we're well on our way. Still a lot more to go, but well on our way. And then I see this flamingo. So I want a flamingo, because again, not a Pokemon I've seen before. A lot of these are new ones, so it's called a flamingo, but you know, flamingo it's it's basically what it is anyway. Back with the hypnosis, get these Pokemon falling asleep, and then launch them Pokeballs at it until we catch it. And there we are, nice and easy. One Pokeball, one hypnosis, one Pokeball down, and Flamigo, Flamigo? Or flamingo, as it is just a flamingo. I mean, come on, at the end of the day. And um, yeah, another one down. Happy days. Now, if flamingo does actually evolve, I have no idea. I've not tried yet, but we may have an evolution of that. So we'll see. Now, this is where I slide into the water, and then I'm like, oh, I can swim. Oh, maybe I can't swim. Hmm. A bit strange, isn't it? But that is the actual swim animation for when Coridon can then finally swim. So we got to see it early, but didn't realise it was actually, yeah, the uh, the actual animation until pretty much I'm actually watching this now because I've seen the animation because I've swam a fair bit at least at this point, and yeah, I then proceed to fail in around here, but. Fortunately, because I landed on this, I was able to get this super potion. And then I think I aim to go towards the middle as well, because there's another item. I see there's more of those stepping stones this side. So, I do a little bit of parkour. And then parkour. It's, it's quite a finicky one, especially when you're... They're the smaller ones, especially. So, so I'll get this repeat ball. And uh, literally, as soon as I'm about to go jump over, a Hoppip turns up. And Coridon proceeds to... So I try and, yeah, try and send out a Pokemon, but because of the water, it couldn't get there and over there. So I was like, okay, looks like I'm going to have to just jump. And yeah, Coridon proceeds to get knocked back by it, and I fall in the water. Helpful. So, I got very annoyed and decided, screw it, I am going to take this out, I'm going to have a fight instead. So I fight it. And I think after this we will wrap it up here. So, uh, while this battle is going on, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, press that notification bell so you can keep up to date with everything that I post. But yeah, I do hope you have a lovely day now that we're beating that hop-ip. Uh, but yes, have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.